Uh, good morning, folks. I thought I would show the third period of the exhibition game between Russia and the United States. This is my tune-up for the Four Nations Cup. I want to give everybody one game before we start it. The United States has just scored on the power play. Jack Hughes to take a 2-1 lead. Matthew Tichuk opened the scoring and Kaprizov tied it on the power play. It's mainly been the U.S. and explain the game as you go along. So right now they're on the power play. So we're going to have a face-off and I'm going to roll a dice for a face-off. The, fa the roll is a seven and Larkin is a three. Buknevich is a zero. Then you add three if you're on the power play. So they're now plus six. So a seven and a plus six is going to be superior. Left winger is going to get control of the puck. So Gensel's got it. So we go one timer for the face off and we're going to pull an action card. So that will count as six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have outside shot only for the right winger. We're going to read the power play section and JT Miller is going to get an outside shot. And let's just see what he gets here. It is going to be an 11 kicked away. It's going to go over to the right winger. So Miller gets the shot and it's going to go over to Nakushkin and Nakushkin is simply going to ice it. So we're going to ice the puck. We could ice it. We can skate it or we can make a play. They just want to kill the penalty. Puck iced. Power play team only gets an outside shot. So sorry, outside shot only for Gensel. So he's going to shoot. Maybe I'll just roll it. We get a seven kicked away. It goes over to any player. So Gensel lets the shot go. It goes over to any player. I'll just put it right here for now. And one, two, three, four. And the it would be six, but you stop at 19. He gets credit for the plus sign on the shot. And we're going to have to change the line. So Nakushkin goes off. So does Buknevich. They're the penalty killers. Gavrikov was a penalty killer. He will go off. And the lines we had out last, JT Miller, Matthews, and Gensel is the American top line. Hughes is on the third line. We'll put him away. And Larkin's on the second line with the Tichuk boys. Uh, we're going to leave the defenseman out there. That's the third pair. This is the fourth line for the Russians. So we're going to take them off. In the third period, I only play three lines. So out comes Ovechkin, Barbashev, and Akushkin. And this line, we had Trocek, Kreider, Boldy is the fourth line for the U.S. That's quite a fourth line. Americans, I think, are favored to win this. They, when you look at the rosters, they are stacked from top to bottom. Uh, Connor, Eichel, and Hughes are coming out for uh, the Americans. I think the U.S. is going to play a 2-2. Russia's just going to play a 2-2 simply because... Americans are so powerful. We'll go to a 3-2 late. Now, puck goes to any player. Um, it is going to go to, we have a 4-3-2. I usually look at the defense. So Eichel and Connor are twos. And we'll give it to Ovechkin because he's a JK passer. It went to another player. I just temporarily put it at Barbashev. So here we go. Both teams are two on two. Uh, loose puck, possible breakaway for the United States. Here they come. It's a right winger if he's a three. And Kyle Connor, he is a four, so he is going to get a breakaway. Here comes the shot on net by the Americans. It's a goalie rating. This could put the game out of reach. Kyle Connor is going to let the shot go and survey Proboski, who gets the call. It's an eight save faceoff. The faceoff is going to be an 18. And we have plus one against plus one, so it's even. So it's going to go to the visitor right winger is going to pick up the draw. So face off in their end. Nakushkin's going to pick it up. Just get rid of that end penalty. And it's two on two. They're going to come out. Loose puck, outside shot only. So Eichel's going to get an outside shot only. It is a nine kicked away. Puck is going to go over to the center. And it's grabbed there by Barbashev. Here comes them right back out. Opponent defense two. This is going to be... Takes away outside shot. Now he can deep pass or make a play. So deking, I'm using the old, not the old system, but the tendency system. So Eichel is four stars. So I'd check the, I just checked the last action card. They got numbers in the corner. So I don't look and then I decide. 
And just for an example, I'll do it for him. So he is going to, he's going to deke. So I pull out the last action card. Take a look in the bottom corner. It's a seven. So four stars. He's going to go against his opponent. So he's going to deke against Barbashev. So four on two is one to 12 on the penetration chart. Here comes Eichel. I just used a 20-sided dice. He gets inside. He gets the inside shot. It's a goalie rating. Here comes Eichel. Steps right in. He's going to shoot on Barbashev. Bobrovsky, I should say. And it's a seven save. Either defenseman makes this, picks up the puck for Russia. So we've got Quinn Hughes and Faber. We'll give it to Orloff. Two on two. Passing D. Orloff's got it. A loose puck outside shot for Jack Hughes. So Jack is playing with his brother Quinn. He can deke one to 12 if he decides to go that route. We have, I think he will. He's going to deke one to 12. Check the last card. It is a 20. He is four stars. So far, stars at a 20 would be against the right D. So he's actually not going to go against Nikushkin. He's going against Orloff. So it still is one to 12. Here comes Hughes. It's a 14, so he lost it over to Orloff. Orloff brings it out. Passing F. It's going to be an outside shot for center. Barbashev's got it. He's going to make a pass. And loose puck. Defensive left D picks it up. Here comes Quinn Hughes. Two on two. Passing F. He is going to pass it. Outside shot for the left wingers. Hughes has got it again. This time he's going to pass. Passing J. It is going to go inside to the center. So he hits Eichel. It's going to be Hughes over to Eichel. We got a six. That is a goalie rating. Jack Eichel again making his presence felt for the Americans. Goalie rating on Brabowski. Here comes the shot. It is a 10. Goal 1 to 17. It is a 14. He scores. Jack Eichel puts it in for the U.S. It gives him some breathing room. And it makes it 3-1 to one for the United States over the Russians. And the other assist is going to go to the right wing if he's a 2. And Kyle Connor, he's a 4, so he will get it. You check the box there for assists. So Connor will get the other assists. Time of the goal, we've got three, six, seven cards. So I have a timer on my sheet here. So seven cards is four minutes. You take your last two split action cards and you count it up the seconds. So it'll be four minutes and 16 seconds. So at 416, Jack Eichel puts the biscuit in the basket and the Americans have taken a 3-1 lead. Give everybody a plus on that one. So I keep track of plus minus and shots on my score sheet. Here is my score sheet. So you can see there are plus one. Eichel's four shots, second in range. It is now three to one for the United States. They have a comfy lead here. Uh, from the face off, here we go. It is going to be a 15. 15, and we are even, is going to be visitor left defense. Romanov's got it. Um, I don't know if we got enough scoring here. I think we're going to wait. We're still going to play 2-2 for Russia. Uh, passing E. I don't want to make this into a blowout. Their last line for Russia is really good. They could come back. I just don't want to put it out of grass for them. Passing E is going to be loose puck. Outside shot for left winger. Puck goes to Jack Hughes. He's got it. He's going to deke this time. So he's a four and four stars. And the number is a 26. So 26 four stars. He has to pass. Hughes has to pass. He loses it to the opponent. Nikushkin brings it right back. Two on two. Opponent defense four. Takes away puck. His inside shot. Intimidate with Orloff. Orloff will. He's a one to six. Uh, takes puck away. Possible penalty. So he's a D. Any penalties that are going to be 16 to 20 on the D chart. When you're checking for penalties, 1 to 15 is no penalty. And we pull a 16. So Orloff is going to take a penalty. Oh, my gosh. Things not going well for Russia right now. <clears throat> Third American power play of the hockey game. <clears throat> and 1, 2, 3. We'll just put that down. And we've got to use the second unit. So the way I play it is the first two units, first two times out, your top unit comes out. 
And for three, it would be their second unit. So for Russia, I think all they have left over are Nemestikov. I also play the uh, the bracket way for defense. I don't use this for the defense. I use the bracket. So Nemestikov is at two. He's going to come out. And I think he's going to come out with, see if I got anybody that can skate. Buknevich is on the first unit. One to ten for Kucherov. It's the best way for them to kill it. One to ten for Panarin. One to ten for Tarasenko. So, and he's a one to five on Intimidating. So I think it might be, yeah, we're going to use Domestikov and Tarasenko to kill the penalty up front. And on... The, actually, you know what? I'm probably not going to skate at 1 to 10. So let's just go with Ovechkin, who's intimidate 1 to 8. To kill the penalty, we're going to use Zub and Provorov as Orloff and Gavrikov killed the first one. For the Americans, this line cannot come out. They were the first line. Larkin cannot come out. So we're going to go with uh, Brady Tichuk is going to come out with... Matthew Tichuk, Kyle Connor is going to play the point. Larkin was on the first unit, so he cannot come out. And we'll leave Jack Eichel out there on the power play. So the Americans on their third power play, face-off number eight. This is going to go. They are a plus three. They'll be a plus three on the face-off. So eight plus three is going to be superior. Right winger picks up control of the puck. So we move at one, and it goes to Tichuk. He's going to deke one to 13. Now we're playing offensive zone face-offs after the penalty, so I'm not going to draw a card. He gets an option, and he's going to deke one to 13. Tichuk is not going to do it. Puck's going to go to Ovechkin, and he's going to ice it. So Puck, ice, short-handed left defense, gets control. One, two, three, four, five. Provorov's got it, and... On our timer die, that's the first one that's gone by. He's going to ice it again. Puck ice, shorthand to right defense of 13. So one, two, three, four, five. And Zub, he is a three. So that would be defense 13. If it's in the bracket, he's a two, three, and a four. He's a three, so it would be opponent defense 13. He's going to take it away, and he will ice it. Puck ice, shorthand to right defense of 12. One, two, three, four, five. He will. Zub will get it back. And he will ice it again. Puck ice outside shot only for the center. So we're going to kick it out. The plus will still work for this shot. So an outside shot only for Eichel. He's going to shoot. It's a six. He's got a goalie rating. Jack Eichel. Third goalie rating of this period. Shoots on Brabowski. It's a nine. He scores. Jack Eichel with a power play goal. For the United States, outside shot, outside goal rating makes it 4-1. to one, And the United States is now comfortably in the lead. Uh, any assists? Anybody a 9? I don't see a 9. Left wing a 5. So Brady Tichuk is getting an assist. And Kyle Connor will get the other assist. So Brady Tichuk, his second assist of the hockey game. Kyle Connor, his second assist to the hockey game. And the Americans are now two for three on the power play. A costly penalty by Dmitry Orloff. And the Mestikoff is going to go off for the Americans. They had Kyle Connor, Brady Tuchuk, Matthew Tuchuk on the second line. Connor was out. And the timer said we got to change lines. So we're going to take off that third line. And we're going to bring out the second line, Panarin, Malkin, and Tarasenko. On the points for the Russians, they're going to have Sergachev and Gavrikov. For the Americans, they're going to have Dylan Larkin, Matthew Tichuk, Brady Tichuk, Quinn Hughes, and Faber go off. And coming out is Fox and Hannafin. Americans are going to go to a 2-1 with a 4-1 lead. The Russians have to go to 3-2. Here we go from the face-off. We have a 15, and we've got plus 3 against a plus 1, so it's a plus 2 on a 15. 1, 2, inferior right defense. So Puck is going over to Sergachev. He picks it up. They're going to be 3 on 1. So 3 on 1 is opponent defense 6. Takes away Puck, his outside shot. Hannafin's just going to pass it. He does. 
He's going to go inside of Brady Tachuk. Here comes the shot by Tachuk. Save. Puck goes over to the center. I put this little token here so if they actually make a pass off a card, then just to make sure he gets an assist when I go to the other part. Um, here comes the Russians. Three on one. Loose puck. Possible breakaway. This is a chance for the Americans to extend their lead. Right winger Tachuk coming in on his... His teammate, Brabowski, a breakaway. Here's the shot, number two, kicked away. Big save by Brabowski. He robs Matthew Tichuk. Puck goes over the center. Malkin's got it three on one. Opponent defense, nine. It's going to be Larkin taking the puck away. It's going to shoot from the outside. It's going to be a save over to the right winger. Puck is going over to Tarasenko. There's the second timer, so there's 10 minutes to go in this period. And 3-1, loose puck, outside shot only for any player. We're going to give it to Hannafin just so that if we get another inside shot, we can give it to a better shooter. So Hannafin's going to get the outside shot only. When you rotate shots, you have to take a look at the offense and rotate them in the game. Uh, lost over to the left winger. So Panarin picks it up. Here comes Panarin, three on one. Opponent defense, three. Takes puck away as an outside shot. Tachuk is going to make a play. He loses it to the opponent. And Panarin comes right back for Russia. Lose puck. Possible breakaway. This is going to be left. D's got a breakaway. Joel, Noah Hannafin's coming in alone. And Brabowski's going to shoot. Oh, he lost the puck. It goes in the corner. Gavrikov scoops it up for the Russians. Brings it out. Outside shot only. They're going to give it to... They have to give it to their best shooter right now. Because they're running out of cards. And it's going to have to be Tarasenko. So outside shot only for Tarasenko. It's going to be a six save. Puck goes over to the center. It's grabbed there by Larkin. It's going to be two on two in the home section and visitors. You go home for two. Outside shot only for the center. Malkin picks it up. He's going to shoot from the outside. Save big rebound off a of Malkin shot. Rebound comes up. Offensive right winger, if he's a two, Tarasenko is. So Tarasenko is going to get the rebound off of Malkin's shot. It's a 10. It is a goalie reading. Tarasenko trying to get Russia back into this hockey game. They're going to shoot on Connor Hellebuck. It is a nine. Goal one to 17. He scores. Tarasenko gets Russia back in this hockey game. A rebound goalie rating. The first assist is going to go to Malkin. As it was his rebound and the one assist only. So that is it. Time of the goal. We've played 20 cards and we've got 15 on the timer card. So 20 cards plus 15. It'll be 12.55 is the time of the goal. Russia makes it 4-2. to two. Tarasenko puts one in from Malkin. That erases their big minus from earlier in the hockey game. And it is now four to two. <clears throat> From the face off, here we go. It's going to be a three. Home left winger is going to pick it up. Tuchuk's got it. We're going to grab a card and we can't. We're going to change over. We have 10 cards left, which is about seven minutes. And here comes the top line for each team. Buknevich, Kucherov, and Kaprasov are coming out. You notice we changed the lines a bit from Russia after that game with. Finland, we might do the same in the United States here after this game. Charlie McAvoy and Slavic come out. Gensel, Matthews, and Miller. We're still going to stay 2-1 for the U.S. We've got to go 3 for the America for the Russians. So Gensel's got it 2-on-2. Two two. Passing D. Inside shot for center. Intimidate opposition. they got to. It's Matthews. 1-4. Buknevich is going to intimidate. And we get a five, so he doesn't do it. Austin Matthews trying to regain the three-goal lead. It's a two, kicked away. Save goes over to any player they want. And we have a three defense, five, 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 and a four. So the weakest defense is Getzel, so we'll give it to Kucherov. But he's one of my better shooters. <clears throat> Yeah, we just got to play the odds here. It's going to be three on one possible breakaway coming up for Russia. We're going to pull the card. Center's got a breakaway. Here comes Bucknevich. Bucknevich coming in all alone on Hellebuck. It's going to shoot number nine. We got a goalie rating. 
Here comes Buck Davich. He's going to come in. He shoots. He fires on Connor Hellebuck. It's a three save faceoff. Big stop there by Hellebuck. Faceoff's going to be a 15. We got a plus two off the faceoff. So 15 plus two. Inferior right defense. That means the Russians are going to win the draw. It goes to Zub. He's going to make a pass. He lost it to the right winger. JT Miller picks it up for Team USA. Two on two. Opponent defense six. Takes away puck. He's got an outside shot. Kaprasov, do you shoot or make a play? He's got to try and make a play. He's going to make a pass. Inside shot for center. Kaprasov, he hits Buknevich again with a great shot. It's a four. Kicked away over the right winger. The Russians are starting to get some chances here. Here comes JT Miller. Opponent defense, three. Takes away puck. Intimidate with the lefty. Slavin has to. Slavin is a one to eight on the intimidation. And he gets a one. So he takes it away from Kaprasov. That was huge. Here comes the U.S. Outside shot only for the left D. Provorov is going to shoot from the outside. It's a nine. Save over to the right defense. Picked up there by Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy brings it out. Opponent defense five. It is going to be. Takes away his outside shot. Provorov's got it. He's going to make a pass. He does. He goes inside to Buknevich again. Wide open. Buknevich shoots. It's an eight. Save big rebound. Rebound comes up. Defense, anybody the three or more picks it up. So it can go to it can go to anybody. And we have a four, 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 and a two. We'll give it to Gensel. Here come the Americans. We have four cards left. I play with three cards left. You can pull your goalie and change. Put anybody you want on. That was a rule we used in the How League. And I like it, so I keep using it. So that's a bit of a homebrew rule. Getzel's got it. They're still two on two. Lose to the opponent. Puck goes over to Kucherov, and they're going to pull their goalie. They're down by two goals with two minutes to play. Braboski is going off. They're going to bring out on Terry Panarin. Is going to come out as the extra guy. And on the points, they're going to put out Sergachev for Zub. And I think that is it for the Americans. They're just going to leave these guys out there. That's a pretty solid pair. The Americans can go to a 1-0. Russia has to go to a 3-3. So we're going to pull the goalie. Let's see what's going to happen, folks. Inside shot for a left wing. Intimidate with the right wing. So when you pull a goalie, you read off the power play section. But the pluses don't count. You just read this part for power play. So... Inside shot for left wing. Can intimidate with the right winger. JT Miller intimidates one to nine. And we get a three. Miller takes it away from Kaprasov. U.S. has the puck. It's going to be one offense against three four checkers. So it's going to be one offense, three four checkers, opponent defense 11. That's the one thing I find whenever you go three four checkers. There seem to be a lot of penalties. So Kaprasov is going to the box. He's getting a penalty. Two minutes. That is going to seal the fate of the Russians. If it wasn't sealed already, Kaprasov picks up two minutes. Americans are going on their fourth power play. Uh, I'm just going to leave these guys out. Um, Panarin is going to go back on the bench. And here we go from the faceoff. <clears throat> 11, it's going to be plus 5. It's going to go to the left winger. Gensel's got it. He's going to deke 1 to 13. Gensel's going to step right in. Shoots number 9. Kicked away over to the left winger. Goes over to Buknevich. He's going to skate 1 to 14. And if he gets a 1, he's going to get a breakaway. <clears throat> Buknevich is going to skate. It is 1, 2, 3. He's got it. He'll skate again. And one, two, three. Now, as soon as you cross seven on the timing chart, you flip it. That is the last card. That is the end of the hockey game, folks. So the exhibition game between the United States and Russia will end. The United States four, Russia two. Shots in the third period. Russia only had five shots. One goalie rating. The Americans, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, they had 12 shots. One, two, three, four, four goalie ratings. So for the hockey game, Russia only had 19 shots on net. <clears throat> and 17 saves by Hellebrook. He let in two goals. 
They had three goalie ratings, and Hellebuck, of the three, he stopped two of the three. Brabowski played 57 minutes. He had 26, 37 shots on net, 12 goalie ratings. 37 shots, he let in four goals, so 33 saves. Of the 12 goal ratings, how many did he stop? One, two, three, American scored on four. So he stopped eight of 12 in this hockey game. So the final score from Madison Square Garden, actually, I guess the games are in, would be able to play it in Boston. The final score, the Boston Bruin, the United States win it four to two, and that's all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you did.